Linux heat pump, I should say. Has a back and it's a fan motor. It runs, but it's really loud. The, bear the bearings are shot in it. So I'm going to unhook it and take it to my table. Purple and yeah, no, not that one. It'd be this orange one over here, and then this is the jumper, so it comes off the defrost board. And see if I can get them out of there without having to cut that zip tie. and three okay she's ready to come off did I forget something no? there we go alrighty Let's go to the table with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is measure this blade. I'm going to measure the... I like to measure the high end better. It is six and a half inches. Give her a little wiggle with the channel locks. Ooh, might need some Earl. Take that set screw all the way off. Rich is slipping. There we go. Here she comes.
my bit didn't fit it it's like the brown one was uh a little too small and uh the red side was a little too big so could have sworn it was the brown one though but that's okay out of the shroud. Sixth horsepower. We'll check it. Sixth horsepower, 825 RPM. Sixth horsepower, 825 RPM, same motor, same part number. Warranty motor. It's got to go through here. No, that's okay. I work from home. That's okay. No problem. I'm putting the new one on right now. Oh yeah. We didn't put the air on because we didn't know. No, you couldn't use it with the motor because it, it's this the same unit for both. But you're gonna be good after this. Good. And how did you guys accept payment? Cash check card, Venmo, Zale, whatever. Oh, I, yep. Okay. Gotcha. And what, two seconds. 
Uh, I, I have to look on my okay. iPad. I'll, I'll, I'll come let you know when I'm done. Yeah, just okay, yes, ma'am. off the damn motor. Probably better that way. Man. There we go. Now I got it to poke through. Get the... Shit. That thing won't even fall enough for me to get the motor on with this table. I'll take the motor out the hole. Boy, this is going to be a pain in the ass. They're going to have to do this one the old school way. The table one. This, this, leave it to freaking Linux to not even let us be able to use our cool table to its full potential anyway. There we go. Spin it again. There we go. Nope. the conduit on got the motor in son of a We can kind of use our table. I'll try that bit again. It, it spins it. Nope. It might be because of the magnet. Yeah, I don't think it's deep enough. Let me try the red one. Nope, it's the magnet. The magnet's hitting. That's why we can't use it. Ooh, 
the sun is coming out. It's getting hot. And it's January. Haven't even hit February yet. doer get the blade right there that right, I got a little snug on it let me measure it before I tighten it up six and a half on the money Let's go back to the unit and install it. Okay. We're not quite lined up. Both of them. Oh, okay. You got enough screws? Just imagine. Okay. So we're going to go back through this same zip tie. Capacitor is good. This one goes here. Black goes to the defrost board. And the purple goes to the capacitor.
go. Yeah, over here. Flip the disconnect and push the contactor in. Oh, that sounds so much better. I think that's just the cage rattling. 